put it in the chat section or comment section. So Chennai, Hyderabad, that's great. Delhi, Abhishek is from Delhi, Shyam is from, okay. So we have Gujarat, Bangalore. Yeah. What else? Himachal, okay, that's great. Nagpur, West Bengal, yeah. Mumbai, nice. Bangalore. Mm -hmm. Pune, Mumbai, yeah, that's great. So from different parts of the country, right, everyone? We'll just wait for a few more minutes, uh, you know, until a uh, few of your friends join. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Odisha. Oh, that's great. So I'm from Mumbai. I'm from Mumbai. Wahi. Okay. This is a new, new place. That's great. Woods. Okay, Vashi, Vashi, yeah. What else? Um, so the uh, the webinar will start in a few minutes, yeah, guys, until all your friends join. So the topic for today's session will be IoT and home automation. Yeah, so we learn about IoT and home automation, very cool stuff uh, in that, what food projects that we can make or uh, AV label out. Yeah. Okay. I would request every one of you guys to mute your mic until uh, you guys will have a question. Yeah. yeah. Just two more minutes and I just we will start then. Who else? So any of you guys are working on any cool projects? Yeah. If yes, then you can uh, put the, the project name yeah, in the chat section so I can see what you guys are up to. Any cool projects, any project in that sense. You're working on Arduino, okay. So Sean is working on Arduino. What else, guys? Any projects you guys are on? Converting sound to electricity. Okay. Seven robots. That's great. A DIY microscope. That's great, Farhan. So, is it a like a zoom and zoom out microscope or only a microscope, like a lens microscope? What is it? Good afternoon, Harshit. So I have two displays, okay, guys. That's why I'm looking on the right hand side, okay? Yeah, I hope that DTMF model, okay. What's the full form if you can uh, comment it out? Good afternoon, Nihar. I made a kitchen connected to my Alexa, okay. So a smart kitchen kind of thing. So that's the topic today, yeah. IoT. Dual, dual tone multi frequency. Okay, that's great. Mm, automatic uh, sun dyser machine based on IR sensor, very much needed right now. That's so great. What else? Ah. Gas turns on when I Alexa turn on the gas with circuits. Okay. Play safe, right? Yeah, so I think we shall start uh, now. 
Yeah, we should stop. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so I already introduced the topic for today. Yeah, guys. So today's session will be based on IoT and home automation. Okay, so different topics of IoT and home automation. Yeah. So first, let me introduce myself. Yeah. So my name is Manan Gandhi. Okay. So I am an engineer by default and a bit blocker by passion. Okay. I like to play with bit blocks. Yeah. So, uh, what is IoT? The question arises to what is IoT? Yeah. So, what uh, the procedure will be whenever I ask a question, uh, you guys can raise your hands and then I can unmute or you can unmute yourself when I call out your names. Okay. And then you can answer to, to the questions. Yeah. So, what is IoT? Anyone? Raise your hands. Okay. Raise your hands in the chat. Let me see. Uh, I think we have Nilanjan. Um, Nell engine, yeah, that's it. Nell engine, yeah. What is IoT? You can unmute yourself. Nell engine, are you there? You can see Nell engine. Hello? Yeah, Nell engine. What is IoT? Sir, IoT means Internet of Things. Okay. So it is the full form, Internet of Things. But yes. what is IoT? What is your knowledge about IoT? What do you think? What do we do with IoT? It means what is its purpose? Yeah, what is the purpose of IoT? Yeah. Or, or it, where it is related to network. It is related to network like sensor, software, and other technologies. Okay, so it, it helps in exchanging data with other devices. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, very good definition. Nilanjan, now let's see who else do we have. We have uh, Nihar. Nihar, yeah. Nihar, can you share uh, your knowledge on IoT? Can you hear me? Mm, yeah, your voice is breaking uh, to me. Uh, IoT stands for Internet of Things. It's mm -hmm. basically where a, a system or, a, or an area is connected together by mm -hmm. uh, AI and everything is in contact with each other. For example, uh, IoT can be used in an energy grid. And if a house, if three houses have solar panels, mm -hmm. and if one has more than the other, and one is having less energy, then the AI knows to deliver some energy from the uh, uh, house with uh, higher energy to the one with lower energy. Yeah. So here, uh, Internet of Things is taking place in the communication of devices. Yeah, a really good example, Niha. Yeah, that's great. Who else? So I'll just take one more. I think. Uh... User Rasnik, what is that your real name? Uh, yeah, you can. Yes, my, yes, sir. My name is Sabnik, but when I place that uh, user okay. Sabnik, oh, yeah. okay, 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 no problem. So, so I the uh, IoT is that uh, this IoT describes that the things of internet. Mm -hmm. Can you like explain a bit more what? Mm. No. No worries. Yeah, no worries. So I'll, uh, we'll see actually, we'll see what IOD is. Okay. So yeah, that's it. Um, I'll just show you guys. Give me a second. So I'll, uh, I'll see this video. Uh, Hello. Hello. Yeah. The internet of things or IOD. Is the mic, uh, is the audio audible? Anyone? Yes, yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. T is influencing our lifestyle from the way we react to the way we behave. From air conditioners that you can control with your smartphone to smart cars providing the shortest route, or your smartwatch which is tracking your daily activities, IoT is a giant network of connected devices. These devices gather and share data about how they are used and the environment in which they are operated. It's all done using sensors. Sensors are embedded in every physical device. It can be your mobile phone, electrical appliances, vehicles, barcode sensors, traffic lights, and almost everything that you come across in day-to-day -day life. These sensors continuously emit data about the working state of the devices. But the important question is, 
How do they share this huge amount of data and how do we put this data to our benefit? IoT provides a common platform for all these devices to dump their data and a common language for all the devices to communicate with each other. Data is emitted from various sensors and sent to IoT platform securely. IoT platform integrates the collected data from various sources. Further analytics is performed on the data and valuable information is extracted as per requirement. Finally, the result is shared with other devices for better user experience, automation, and improving efficiency. Okay, so uh, that's it. Uh, I'll show you. Um, hmm. So, uh, why this video? What did we understand on IoT? Okay, so um, I'll just give you a glimpse of what IoT is all about. Okay, um, okay, so I think. Uh, is there anyone who wants to answer what this video said or anything? Yeah, so Karan wants to answer this. So Karan, yeah, you see. So I think that IoT uh, is something like a cloud in which all the devices connect through internet and share their data. Mm -hmm. That's great, that's great. Yeah, exactly that. Uh, that is what IoT is, okay? So, uh, so uh, what do we see? For example, there are many sensors, or there are many devices around us, okay? For example, our mobile, our smartwatch, our uh, Alexa, or Google Home, or uh, whatever, you know, there are many devices around us and these, uh, you know, devices have sensors in them. So what will the sensor do? The sensor will collect the data. For example, if I have a smartwatch, okay? So it would tell me about uh, how many steps did I walk in today, okay? So if I'm on a diet or I want to lose weight, um, this data can be very helpful, yeah? Or take the example of a smart vehicle like Tesla, okay? So in Tesla, if you see there are many uh, sensors, okay, there are many sensors. So the sensor to detect obstacle or sensor to uh, plan the navigation or to detect any other third party. Uh, there is also autopilot mode. Yeah, there's also an autopilot mode. So autopilot mode works on these sensors, okay? So what uh, these sensors will do is they'll collect data, okay? They'll collect data and this, then this data will be sent to a remote storage, okay? For example, a cloud. Now, what is a cloud? Uh, cloud is where like every device data gets collected, okay? For example, if we have like, uh, if we, we guys use Google, right? So we guys use Google, everyone of us uh, use Google. So whenever we search something, all that, uh, you know, the search query, yeah? it goes to the Google server and then the Google replies accordingly. Yeah. So it gives us all the pages. Yeah. Which is uh, very relevant to our query. So this is how all the IOT works. So there are many devices, all the data is collected, it is sent to a remote storage and then using AI or any other thing. Okay. They, you know, they process the data, they process the data. Now collecting um, the data is not the only thing that we do. They process the data. Now, why processing is required? For example, um, uh, let's take uh, the example of uh, smartwatches. Okay. Now, uh, there are two kinds of person. For example, a person who, who doesn't have any kind of disease, and then yeah. they, they, you know, they process the data. They process the data. Now, so there are two kinds of persons here, a person who doesn't have any kind of disease and then a person who has say diabetes or some, some other disease, yeah. So um, after receiving the data, there'll be a special code or algorithm that will, you know, segregate if a person has a disease or a person doesn't have a disease, okay. So we, we need to process the data. So this is what IoT is all about, yeah. So I will uh, show you the definition of IoT. Yeah? The Internet of Things, that is uh, IoT, refers to a system of interrelated, interconnected objects that are able to collect and transfer data over a wireless network without human intervention. Yeah. Uh, Sagnik. Uh, give me a second here. So the Li-Fi is also related to IoT. Right, right. The Li-Fi is also related to IoT. Uh, Sagnik. Yeah. 
There's some uh, glitch. Uh, sorry for the yes. internet. Then I see, then, uh, I see. I see. You can control Manna Gandhi screen. That's yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. You are. You just uh, entered it. So you can ju just don't press the tab. Yeah. <laughs> so let's uh, read the definition. Yeah. The Internet of Things uh, referred to a system of interrelated, interconnected objects that are able to collect and transfer data over a wireless network without human intervention. So what is interrelated and interconnected? So for example, if I have a home, okay, if I, uh, in my home, there are many objects, okay? Uh, in these objects, why these, uh, sorry, there are many sensors, there are many app, uh, appliances. So these appliances, okay, will send the data or will work together, okay? So they'll send a data from one appliance to another. For example, uh, a smart fridge can send a data to a phone or if a grocery is less or if uh, we are short on up, uh, you know, supplies. So, yes. yeah, I think there's some noise from, uh, so I, I request every one of you guys to mute, yeah? So once this data is uh, transferred from appliances, it is then sent to the cloud, okay? It is then sent to the cloud over a wireless network. Now, what is wireless network? It is our Wi-Fi, okay? So via a wireless network or via an internet connection, a mobile internet connection or a data connection, uh, the data is sent to the cloud so that it can be processed, okay? And there is no human intervention here. As you can see, there's no human intervention. For example, if uh, my fridge is short of, uh, uh, you know, supplies, it will smart fully detect and it will send a data uh, to the cloud. And then via the cloud, I'll get the notification on my smartphone that you are short on eggs or you are short on milk or you're short on bananas. Okay. Or you will be needing bananas because there is an IPL match coming up. Yeah. So this is what IoT is all about. So this is the very good example. Uh, uh, I'll play the video. Yeah. So let's watch this together. So that's uh, it for the video. So anyone, what did you understand about the video? Yeah, you guys can raise your hand and I can call out name. Advait, I'll give the opportunity to Advait. Yes, sir. Yeah, so what did you understand about this video that we had watched? Sir, in this video, with the help of internet, we are able to understand what is happening over there. Like if we are out of stock or something, the mm -hmm. notification tells that you are out of this, you can buy this. Right. Uh, and another thing, if the car fuel is over, it tells that there is no fuel, you can fill it inside. Uh, it uh, sends another notification. Wherever you go, it is very helpful for us. Right, that's great. That's great. Exactly. Who else uh, can we have here? Uh, 
कारण या कारण सर कॉमन लीड एडवांटेज इज दैट इट इज वेरी हेल्पफुल इन ऑल केसेस लाइक व्हाट लाइक इफ एग इज आउट ऑफ स्टॉक इन द फ्रिज और टर्निंग ऑफ लाइट्स इफ यू फॉरगॉट हम्म या and in the sensors in the fridge that gives notification if it is op- the door is left open mm-hmm. that's great okay so let me uh, share you one of my experiences okay so uh, i'd been to a library okay i'd been to a library and in the library they had all those iot sensors and appliances okay so now if any user okay or uh, from any part of the library if there was a lot of sound what it would do is it would send a notification to the user sitting in that particular area that you are making a lot of noise okay so please don't uh, make it it's disturbing others yeah so this was a very good example that i found uh, about iot who else have you seen iot around you yeah any iot uh, thing that you can see around you except for google home and alexa of course what else can we see मोबाइल एप Like I have connected on smart bulb and it works from anywhere. Similarly, yeah. you can also set the time. Hmm. Uh. Yeah. That. Yeah. That's it. Uh. One more example I could tell you guys is uh. For example, a smart irrigation system. Okay. A smart irrigation system. So, uh. If there's a huge farm, okay. Uh. We could uh. You know, plant the IoT sensors in the different parts of the farm. Okay. and then it would send a notification or a message to the farmer uh, if there is it is less on water or any of the nutrients okay so uh, if a fertilizer is needed or if you need more water or you need to you know uh, splash less water this was one of the other examples that i found uh, which was very helpful okay uh, other thing was a smart toilet okay the smart toilet was uh, installed uh, in the streets of uh, mumbai okay and few uh, in a few parts of mumbai so what the smart toilet would do once a user uses this toilet or the, uh, the room okay uh once he evacuates uh using all the sensors and all the things it would sanitize the toilets completely okay so even if a person who doesn't have a toilet at a home he can use his toilet uh you know without any issues it would be completely germs free okay and like the previous toilet that we used to have here yeah what is what is any project ideas anyone come on we yeah. have yeah karan uh there are some automatic pet food feeders also like it drops example if we want to uh, give cat food and we are out of station so it automatically automatically give cat drops cat food in tray right and right a very good other, example yeah and an other another example is uh, smart tvs smart tvs yeah but how 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 smart tv is controlled using iot narendra a very good example that we see today and uh, i have an alexa device and a smart mm-hmm. tv so i have paired them both so i can control it with my voice or i can control it using my uh, mobile app Called Samsung Smart Home. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah, that that is one of the things that we see every day. Most of us have a smart TV or something that is smart, even a smart watch or a mobile phone. Okay, we use Okay Google to search for something. Okay, yeah. So this is all related to IoT. Who else? So we have a lot of. We have. Uh, let's see who else is here. Uh, Farhan. Yeah, Farhan. A smart device has developed so that it can change the color of these bulbs. the brightness of the bulbs right right a smart bulb with the, which can change the color or the brightness yeah that's great who else fresh 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 arbat sir we can uh, measure the aqi or the air quality index of uh, one location from another location and yeah. we can also measure water quality 
a very good example air uh, you know air pollution and water pollution uh, so we can measure it uh, in our vicinity or in our locality adib let's go for adib so uh, the thing we can do is when we go to outside of country or the thing we use is luggage or bag so mm-hmm. people are uh, always lost the luggage so the solution is people invented a smart luggage that if it uh, goes out of your hand it gives you sent a notification to your phone that mm-hmm. your luggage is outside of your hand and mm-hmm. it locks automatically when the sensor disable from the hand of the person who's carrying it yeah a very good project i think yeah definitely so whenever a user is not having a bag you know if he's not holding the bag okay um uh, it will lock itself okay so there was uh, no loss of you know uh, anything that he's carrying yeah so last one i'll take and then we'll move forward let's go for sanjana mm-hmm. sanjana la yeah sanjana you want to share something sanjana mm. no uh, so last one let's go for someone else uh are now are now yeah oh uh, yes so uh, we can we can uh, try to connect all the electronic items and how to control them in our house uh, using a computer or any other electronic device mm mm-hmm. but where what kind of projects uh, or things that uh, you see around you i want to know okay. that then tell me any one nothing to worry about sorry so uh any any you know any devices or appliances that you use around oh uh, maybe we can use our uh, mobile phones or we can use our laptops because uh, those are more helpful as we can carry them anywhere these are those are portable devices right right right, right. that's good so uh, these are only some of the iot devices okay guys there are like thousands of projects out there i cannot list all of them yeah so a smart refrigerator as we have seen smart bulb or uh, i think just give me a second yeah alexa google home uh, smart bike locks okay so um, in mumbai uh, we have a bike uh, you know a bike means a bicycle okay a bicycle uh, called as yulu okay using this yulu uh, like i can take a bicycle from one place to another okay so uh, uh, it will you know charge me on the basis on hourly basis or something of that sort and whenever i'm done with my journey i just have to press a button on my smart uh, phone and it will automatically lock uh, the cycle okay and it will give me you know all the charges accordingly for example if i have used for 2 hours it will charge me for 2 hours so if i have cha- uh, used it for 4 hours it will charge me for 4 hours and accordingly yeah sir it's in 80 oh was anyone saying something sir uh, it is also in bangalore also sir yeah 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 so it's available in many cities right that that is yes, how oh, so there are many projects out there now what else do we have here uh, okay sorry my screen is not on share oh, so these are the projects you know? so we have smart door locks next we have smart door locks okay so uh, if uh, like uh, if i'm out of the city or uh, somewhere if I, i forgot to do it uh, like uh, you know uh, like i've not unlocked my door i've not locked my door and i'm very scared or i want to verify if i've locked my door or not there are smart locks available so using my mobile phone app i can basically uh, lock the uh, you know lock my door or check the status if my door is locked or unlocked then you have smart iot kitchens for example uh, iot kitchen can consist of a smart refrigerator or you know an oven a smart oven so whenever uh, you have cooked anything and it, uh, the timer is complete it can send me a notification that uh, you have reheated a popcorn or you have baked and you have successfully baked something or something of that sort and then finally the irrigation system yeah so yeah even nihar um, give a new yeah a very good example here uh, uh, so we have new vacuum cleaners okay so if we leave it on the ground it will automatically clean the floors and then it will come back to the original position so you will have a clean floor a swept floor and then it will charge itself once the you know the job is done and then finally the irrigation system yeah so that's it for iot so any 
Now it's up to you. Anyone wants to speak? No, sir. No, no doubt. No one. What is IoT? Or... I have. Yeah. Uh, sir, is Wi-Fi clip related no, 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 to no, 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 no. IoT only? Uh, right now, yeah, Wi-Fi clip is related to IoT. But what is IoT? Anything related to that? Anyone? Any doubts? Yeah. What is IoT? If not, then we can go for the next thing. Yeah. Sir. Yes. Sir. Yeah. Tell me. Yes, sir. I had a doubt. Mm hmm. Can a complex devices like Neuralink be I IoT? Yeah. So you can uh, link it to if it's linked to you know sensors, you can make it IoT. Okay. Yeah. Because neural link is more of the AI part, okay? So it is, yeah. it is on the second say. Like when I say after uh, gathering the IoT information, it is processed. So uh, neural link can be used to process the data. Okay. Okay. So finally, uh, IoT using wet blocks. Okay. So we have this very one interesting block known as Wi-Fi clip. Okay. So uh, using this Wi-Fi clip, I can control my devices. Okay. So let's see, uh, you know, exactly what Wi-Fi clip is. Um, there are many of you guys who, who already have Wi-Fi clip, okay? But for those who don't, let's watch the video. Introducing Vidblock's Wi-Fi clip. The Wi-Fi clip is Vidblock's simplest way to control your outputs using a smartphone app. Simply connect your output to the Wi-Fi clip, establish a connection with the Wi-Fi clip app, and voila, control is now on your fingertips. Automate your room with cool hacks. Connect a servo to the Wi-Fi clip and control any appliance in your room. Or create a mechanism that can lock and unlock your door and control it using Wi-Fi clip. We even removed the LED from a standard AC light in our room and installed our Vidblocks lamp, which can be controlled using our Wi-Fi clip. So now you can hack your room and live life Wi-Fi enabled. So this is the Roomba, uh, sorry to interrupt, but this is the Roomba vacuum cleaner that uh, I was speaking about, okay? So this cleans the bot, okay? And this was the video of our Wi-Fi clip. So uh, just... Let me show you this. So I have this Wi-Fi clip here, you know, in my hand, yeah, uh, in which I've connected a lamp block, okay? So how this Wi-Fi clip works is we have a password, okay, that we get along with this Wi-Fi clip, okay? So once you power it on, after a few seconds, you'll get a Wi-Fi clip, uh, you know, uh, network. So the first network in which i'm connected to it is not very clear it is the wi-fi clip okay so i've put in my uh, wi-fi password uh, which i got along with the wi-fi clip and now my phone is connected to this wi-fi clip here okay so now i can control the lamp okay now what i'll do is we have this wi-fi clip app okay so i'll just connect it to the wi-fi clip uh, app where to get the wi-fi clip app uh uh I'll share the link in the comment section, okay? So, yeah, so you can see, um, okay, so my lamp is currently off, okay? I'll just uh, reduce the brightness of the screen. Yeah, so you can see it is, uh, right now it is off, it is in red color. So at the moment, uh, give me a second. So bad. Yeah, so the moment I, uh, Press the button, my lamp goes on. See? Off and on. I can even connect uh, like a DC motor to it or a servo motor to it. So you can connect all the output devices that you get along with uh, the wet blocks or any other thing. See? Right now it is on. Yeah. The moment I press it, it turns red and it goes off. So we can also do it from here also. No, you cannot do it from here. I'll just explain why you cannot do it from here. Okay, I'll just explain you how a Wi-Fi clip works. Okay, right? Uh, yeah. Sir, I have a doubt. Yeah. Can we 
uh, can we pair it with devices like Alexa or Google Homes? Uh, I think I, I think Suman will be better to answer on this. Suman, uh, have yeah, you? Yeah, so it? actually, uh, right now you can't, but we are trying to integrate an API by which we can control that very soon. But right now you can control any wet blocks module using this. And any, if you want to control any output using uh, like using the breadboard and Arduino combination along with Wi-Fi, you can do that. But Alexa and Google Home, we need to integrate an API for it. If you can use a uh, Arduino uh, via IFTT, then it can be. Right so, yeah. So let me summarize what uh, Suman said right now. So for uh, right now, it is not available, but soon it will be. And uh, like you need uh, devices like Arduino. Okay. So you can connect. Or if I clip with the Arduino and you can write your own code to, you know, um, make it work. So can't we connect the Wi-Fi clip from any part of the world? No, not from the any part of the world. Yeah, that's what I'm uh, here to speak about. Okay. So how does a Wi-Fi clip work? Uh, let's watch it. Uh, yeah. Is my screen shared? Uh, can you guys see it? Yeah. So uh, on the right, we have my Wi-Fi clip. Okay. So whenever I create or uh, like I power it on, okay, it creates a hotspot. Okay, you know what a hotspot is, right? We have uh, the feature available in a phone. Okay, so when you create a hotspot, it basically works like a Wi-Fi. It works like a Wi-Fi. So you can uh, connect multiple devices to this hotspot, and then you can, uh, you know, uh, transfer data or you can use the data. Yeah. So here our Wi-Fi clip is the hotspot okay so the wi-fi clip is the hotspot and my device that is my smartphone is connected to my wi-fi clip okay so what will happen is uh, within the range of the wi-fi clip i can you know control this device i can use this device for controlling okay uh, but if i go to you know like a hundred meters away or to another city uh, this device is no longer in the range of this wi-fi clip okay so this uh, device is no longer in the range of this Wi-Fi clip. So we cannot communicate with this Wi-Fi clip. Now, if it's not able to communicate with the Wi-Fi clip, it won't be able to turn on the lamp or turn off the lamp, right? So uh, basically, you have to be within the range of the Wi-Fi clip. Okay, so within your home or uh, within the room that your Wi-Fi clip is. Okay, so you have to test it out in your uh, workspace. Okay, so that's it. Yeah. So any doubt, anyone? Sir, so, so, I have a doubt. Yeah. So the Wi-Fi clip app, is it the only a phone app or we can uh, download it at the laptop and tabs? Uh, for laptops, uh, we have an IP address. Okay. So whenever you put that IP address, you get the same uh, feature. Okay. So you can like uh, turn it on and turn it off. And uh, for tabs, it is the same as, uh, you know, phone. So you can use it on tabs. You can use, even on phones, I'll just show you. Uh, I'll just control it using... Uh, and try controlling it using the sir because when i was trying to download i mean uh, uh, uh download with the help of my uh, this one scanner mm -hmm. it is not even letting me it's us uh, it's telling that it is an unknown link okay so we'll uh, look into what the issue is after yeah, the... yeah what happens i'll just address it uh, so what yeah. happens is that uh, whenever you are downloading the wi-fi clip app so it is, as it is not a part of the play store it will show that it's an unknown link and hence it will give, ask you for like you need to press OK again in order to install it as it is not a, as it is not part of the Play Store. That's it. but it is pretty safe to use. Don't worry for that. So one more thing. Yeah. My phone has a Play Store and does not even have but still it is downloaded in tab. It's not even happening. Uh, so we'll look into what the issue is. Yeah. Uh, once the seminar is done or you can contact. Um, the wet blocks, you know, the wet blocks team. So we'll help you out there. Yeah. So just give me two minutes to explain uh, how we use the website. Okay. Um, so I don't know if you guys can see my screen. It is not very visible because so I have this web page here and then there are two buttons. Okay. There are two buttons similar to the, the ones that we uh, get uh, in the app. Okay. So using this, I can basically turn on my lamp. It's on now. I just off it. Okay, I'm still using the web page. So even on the phone, you can open the web page. So you can open the web page on the phone, on a tablet, on a you know um, laptop or somewhere. What else? Sir, I have a doubt, sir. Yeah. 
Sir, can we connect multiple Wi-Fi clips to one device and control many devices at a time? Connect multiple Wi-Fi device to one device. Yes, uh, I like uh, if I buy like three to four Wi-Fi clips and one to one bulb and other one to a uh, uh, unlocking a room unlocking thing. Can I con control with one app, sir? Uh, yeah, you can control with one app, but then you will have to you know switch on to the Wi-Fi network. You have to switch to the different Wi-Fi networks. Like I told you, uh, each Wi-Fi clip creates a hotspot. Okay, so just assume like you have uh, you have what three Wi-Fi clips. Okay, so you'll have three hotspots. Okay. So okay. if you want to, you know, on the first Wi-Fi clip, you will have a lamp. Okay. So you'll have to turn on to that Wi-Fi network. Okay. On the second switch, uh, sorry, on the second clip, you will have a second Wi-Fi hotspot. So you'll have to switch to the second hotspot. Okay. To use the Wi-Fi clip, to use that particular Wi-Fi clip. But yes, you can use the same app for that. Yes. Thank you, sir. Yeah. What else? Anyone else? Any issues? Any uh, can we connect multiple devices to a single Wi-Fi clip? Uh, no, not right now. Right now, only you can connect it to one of only one device. Okay. Sir, I mean. Excuse me, sir. Mm -hmm. Connecting it to sir, one. I, I... Just a second. Yeah, yeah. We will first before Karan and then we'll go. Yeah. Sir, I mean like connecting it to one device per output. I mean different outputs. Uh, see, uh, right now the uh, you know output from the Wi-Fi clip that we get is you know digital. It is binary, so it is either zero or either one. Okay, so in the app like you've seen, I could only turn on or off. So I basically understood your uh, you know uh, solution that if we have multiple values, I can connect multiple devices. But right now we don't have multiple values. Okay, so right now we only have uh, binary. So it is either true or false. It is either high or either low. Yeah, Karan. Okay, sir. Yeah. Yeah. You can ask me a doubt. Who was it? Um... Excuse me, sir. Mm -hmm. Sir, uh, I have connected multiple devices to one output Wi Fi clip block mm -hmm. and uh, control three LEDs with that. Yeah. So if you connect like the three LEDs back to back, you can. So not back to back. Then? Sir, uh, we can control individual LEDs. I've used Arduino for that. Mm, I'm not sure if it's uh, possible there. Sir, it was working. May I show the demo at the end of the class? Uh, we we'll look into that. Yeah. Yeah, so maybe... yeah sure, sure, yeah. sure, sure. Thank you, sir. Sir, I have one doubt. Yeah. Sir, while uh, I mean typing the Wi-Fi clip, uh, this one, uh, Wi-Fi clips, Wi-Fi, mm -hmm. there is no Wi-Fi, fi, I mean, the password. Should mm -hmm. I write Wi-Fi also? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the entire thing, the Wi-Fi and the six-digit code. Okay, sir. Yeah. So uh, let's move on to the next uh, slide and then we'll take the questions to the end. Okay, guys? So the first thing that we do here is connect your device to the Wi-Fi clip. So in my case, I connected my smartphone to my Wi-Fi clip. Okay. Second is to put your authentication code, which is, it, it will be like Wi-Fi and a six-digit random number. Okay. So Wi-Fi followed by six-digit number. So put in the password there, and then your phone will be like connected to the Wi-Fi. And then the finally, we can make our own projects, okay, using the Wi-Fi clip. Yeah. So this is the connection that I've made here: power block, Wi-Fi clip, and lamp. Okay. So uh, as you can see, uh, sorry, yeah. And even you can uh, like connect it to your Arduino or something, okay, using the same. Sir. Uh, uh, yeah. The presentation is not visible. Oh, yeah, sorry. Thanks for informing. Yeah. So this is the slide. Connect to your Wi-Fi clip, put in the password, and play with the chips, OK? And secondly, this is my, uh, you know, the configuration that I made. A power block, a Wi-Fi clip, and a LAN. So any doubts here? Anyone? Any questions? Anyone? No. Anything sir, related to IoT, Wi-Fi clip, or anything? Yes, sir. I have a question. Yeah. You can speak out your name, okay? So you can introduce yourself, and you can let uh, everyone know your question. Yeah? Sir, I am Shreyans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Shreyans. Sir, uh, uh, I wanted to know about Wi-Fi clip. Uh, when we power wi uh, uh, my Wi-Fi clip mm -hmm. and add it to Wi-Fi hotspot, hot mm -hmm. Uh, we have to connect it with uh, Wi-Fi, no? 
No, 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 no. So it does not like you have to connect it to your Wi-Fi. Okay. So, so assume like you'll be having then two Wi-Fi's in your home. Okay. So one will be the Wi-Fi that you have, the internet Wi-Fi, and this will be your second Wi-Fi. Okay. In the second Wi-Fi, we have. So, to... so mm -hmm. I want to know that uh, it will be connected to a hotspot or Wi-Fi. So this will create a hotspot. Okay. Your Wi-Fi flip will create a hotspot, and your phone or your laptop or the tab will get connected to this hotspot. That means I have to on my hotspot. No, you don't have to uh, on your hotspot anything. Okay, so whenever you power on your Wi-Fi clip, okay, so whenever you power on your Wi-Fi clip, this chip here, this chip here will create a hotspot. This chip, the Wi-Fi clip chip, will create a hotspot. Okay, and using this hotspot, you you just have to like open your Wi-Fi, uh, you know, the Wi-Fi image on your uh, phone and connect it to that Wi-Fi. Okay. Uh, so when I will uh, sw uh, switch off my power and then again turn it on. No, then if you if you switch off your power, then the hotspot will go off. Okay, and then again if you turn on your uh, power, the hotspot will be recreated and then you can re rejoin uh, to that network. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, then I have a doubt. Yeah. Can you call out your name? Uh, sir, my name is Devansh Burke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Josh. Uh, sir, when we uh, connect a output block to a uh, Arduino, mm -hmm. uh, we take. Uh, yeah, yes. Sir. Mm -hmm. uh, sir, we uh, when we connect a output block to a Arduino, mm -hmm. then the connections will be same. To. I didn't get you. So when we connect mm -hmm. a Arduino to a Wi-Fi clip, mm -hmm. then then will we uh, use the same connections or not? Yeah, we can use the same connections, the same wire. So what you have to do is you will have to like uh, give like five volts and ground to the Arduino via the power block. Like we have to take the two wires, and then you can take a signal wire from the Wi-Fi clip, and it will work. Yeah. Uh, so I have a doubt. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so we can uh, bring the uh, with block, uh, Wi-Fi clip from the Witblocks app, right? Yeah, you can, can get it from the Witblocks app as well as you can get it from uh, you know the website. Yeah. What else? Yeah, you can even use Bluetooth modules. Okay, but then uh, Bluetooth module has its own you know pros and cons, and the Wi-Fi module has its own pros and cons. Okay, so. So it is up to you in which device or where you have to you want to use your uh, you know uh, Wi-Fi clip or you want to use a Bluetooth. Yeah. Sir. Mm hmm. So is Bluetooth module better than Wi-Fi clip? So that's what I told you. So it depends from places to places. Okay. So it is up to your project. Okay. So if you want to use Bluetooth, you can use Bluetooth. If you want to use Wi-Fi clip, you can use Wi-Fi clip. Now Wi-Fi clip. Has some advantages here. Okay, so in Wi-Fi clip, you don't have to create, you don't have to program anything. Okay, here, so you basically get a clip. You just have to make a connection, and you're ready to go. But for Bluetooth, you'll have to go for multiple connections with programming. Yeah, so there's an advantage okay. here. Plus, the range of the Wi-Fi clip is much better than the range of the Bluetooth. So, uh, for example, the Bluetooth might have a range of like maybe four to five meters at max. So Wi-Fi clip has a lot more. Yeah, yeah. Sir, I have a doubt that. Uh, uh... You're on mute. I think you got your phone mute. Yeah, yeah. In doubt, anyone? So I have uh, that uh, I told right uh, that uh, uh, it's telling. Uh, I told that it's not downloading yeah, in the lab. We, we, we so that, that is telling that it is disabled. You have to uh, contact your organizers and find out more. It's so, uh, telling that one. So it, it it is the issue with your tab. Okay, try it with some other devices. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, because this issue is with the uh, you know your setting with the settings of your tab. Okay. So you can uh, even enable if, if for uh, some people uh, they get the issues and then you can enable like the third party applications as an option in most of the smartphones. So you can enable that and it works. If it's still not working, try with a different device. Uh, so I clicked on the link for the Wi-Fi clip and uh, it showed that uh, your uh, device can't scan the uh, 
can't can they link for a virus so it's not harmful is it no no it's not harmful it is totally safe okay so from devices to devices you know you will get some warnings but it is completely safe because you know there is nothing in that it is not connected to internet or any other thing okay so there is no kind of virus or so no one can you know connect to your wifi and then you know control your device it is nothing like that okay so have, it is completely safe to use yeah thank you sir yeah uh so yeah uh i think uh uh sure you were you wanted to demonstrate right sir and yeah man you can show the last slide once yeah yeah so this is the coupon code okay it is only available for today uh using this uh, coupon code you will get a discount okay so you can use this uh coupon code on the website or on the weblog app yeah yeah so all you all people who purchase it today by tonight so, so they'll get a 20% discount on the wifi clip only so you can use this you can just take a screenshot of this coupon code if you want to use it later on I'll and it is applicable on the bitbox app as well as on the website so i and one I... more thing manan i wanted to share that someone was telling that if we can connect two or more devices using our wifi clip mm -hmm. so currently the wifi clip has only one output port in which you can connect your like uh, any output device like lan or cursor or server or anything right. but we are also trying uh, releasing one more wifi clip which will have more than one uh, two or four outputs yeah so no that's what, also will coming in the next one so no, what he was saying suman was that he, he was able to uh, you know uh, connect arduino to the wifi clip and get multiple outputs there okay so shreyas if you are if possible if you are on the laptop can you share your screen and show it yeah shreyas arbati sir i don't have the video but i can show a live demo yeah you can sure sure demo. that would be great Sir, this is the circuit, and I have three give, LEDs. Give me a second. Ah, uh, ah, uh, 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 yes. What you can do is uh, you can share uh, your screen. Okay. 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 Yeah. Sir, uh, I don't have a video. Just a second, Maran. Can you stop the screen sharing? Yeah, yeah just screen. Yeah. 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 These are the three LEDs representing the three lamps, mm -hmm. and here I have connected the Wi-Fi clip blocks. Yeah. and this is the app where we can control it okay uh huh so it's turned on now okay yeah that's it So now I'm connecting the Wi-Fi clip to my mobile. So it's now connected. I click on uh, LED one, and LED one will turn on. Okay. I click on LED two. Uh mm huh. -hmm. And LED two will turn on. I click on LED three. Says so the power is not enough uh, for the Wi-Fi clip for the Arduino to uh, power the Wi-Fi clip, sir. So mm -hmm. it will uh, disconnect sometimes. Yeah, I hear that. So uh, if I'm uh, right, uh, in the input shares you have used three wires, right? For the Wi-Fi clip, for the input, you have used three wires, right? Yes, yeah. sir. So what are the three wires? So one is the five volts, right? And uh, the, then there will be a ground. And then what is the uh, third wire used for? So the third wire, as we know in wood blocks, the third wire is uh, if this is high, then the blocks will uh, activate. If it's low, then it will deactivate. Right. So I have connected this one to three point three volts so that mm -hmm. uh, the Wi-Fi clip blocks get activated. Exactly. And then you have a, a single signal output, right? Yes, sir. And the signal output is uh, connected to your Arduino back, right? Yes, sir. Okay, yeah, that's great. Uh, and uh, what uh, app you are using, or uh, have you made this on your own, or what is it? Sir, right? I made this on my own. Mm, that's great. That's great. But sir, I made it using MIT App Inventor. 
MIT app in one day. That's great. That's very true. Sure. So what you can do is share. You can share your code along with us. So we can even uh, review through that. Right? Yes, yeah, someone. Yeah, if we can just share it in the maker community also, so others also can okay, build sir. it. Yeah. Okay, sir. So this is a very good project that is done by Shreyas, as you guys can see, here, right? Awesome. Thank you. Sir. Awesome, Shreyas. Yeah. Okay. So that's it for today, guys. Yeah. You guys sir, can. Mm -hmm. Sir, I have a doubt that can I control my motor with Wi-Fi clip? Yeah, you can control your motor with Wi-Fi clip. Sir, not sir? motor, but uh, another motor, gear motor. Can I control? Uh, for gear motor, then you will have to use your own uh, driver. So it comes with a driver. So you'll have to integrate it with I don't know something. Oh. Okay. Or else, uh, or else, what you can do, Shreyans, is that uh, the DC gear motor is also available on the App Store. So when you order it from there, it will come with a connector which can directly go into the motor driver that you have of it. And using that, you can easily control. But one thing you need to be careful is that uh, the Wi-Fi clip, the motor and the Wi-Fi clip require a bit more current rather than usual so whenever you're using try using a power bank or a mobile charger so that it will give you an interrupted source of energy and a high current also so same thing with ai vision as well as wi-fi okay. sir is the wi-fi clip uh, compatible to laptop also yeah sir, so you can connect sir, so how can we connect uh, our wi-fi clip to our laptop it's the same way. So this will uh, the Wi-Fi clip will create a hotspot. Okay, so you can go to your laptop Wi-Fi settings and connect to that Wi-Fi, and it is ready to go. Okay, uh, okay. So, well, one thing you need to uh, know is that you need to just type in the IP address. But controlling it via your phone would be much easier using the Wi-Fi clip. App. But uh, but I have a problem that can uh, can the IP address be uh, be empty? No. What uh, we have to fill in IP address? I've uh, posted in it in the chat section. It is 192.168.4.1. This IP address will only work once you connect. Okay. So once you connect your device to your, uh, uh, you know, the Wi-Fi clip. So if you put your IP address first and then you connect it later on, it will show you an error. So you will have to refresh the page. Okay. Okay, sir. Yeah. Sir, can I ask something about Arduino? Yeah, anything related to IoT, uh, or, you know, IoT, AI, home automation, anything is good. Okay, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone? Yeah, anyone? Yeah, Shreya, you can go sir? ahead. With the uh, another episode of uh, Arduino? I that is in the works. It's being released very, very soon. Okay. Yeah. Sir, I have one doubt. Mm-hmm. Sir, what is the use of bitcoins? Actually, I I joined a bit late to Bitblocks. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm not able to understand what is the use of bitcoins. So you can use your bitcoins while purchasing, you know, any of the blocks and any items from the Bitblock store. Okay, so you can use like if I'm not wrong, someone it is thirty percent. You can use thirty percent of yeah your, of the total yeah. amount. Yeah. yeah. So, for example, if you have. Uh, like enough Bitcoin, say you have like 400 or 500 Bitcoins, okay? And then you can use like 30% of the total order amount, okay? So for example, if you have a thousand rupees uh, amount order, uh, you can use like 300 Bitcoins and then you'll get a th uh, 300 rupees discount. Sir, if uh, I have now like mm -hmm. 3K, I mean uh, 3.5K like that, mm -hmm. uh, Sir, uh, it that uh, the computer is only choosing how much bitcoins I have to use. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. So it will use thirty percent of your uh, available bitcoins. Okay. So when whenever you buy, so for example, uh, you, you uh, say if you are making a purchase of order of like thousand rupees, okay, so the algorithm will automatically, uh, you know, use some of the bitcoins, okay, so uh, available in your account, okay, and then you will get a discount of that amount. Uh, so, Maran, I'll just explain it in a more easier way. Mm -hmm. So, consider that you are trying to purchase a power block of 100 rupees. So, uh, and you have bitcoins around 3k bitcoins, as you just mentioned. So, if you want to purchase a power block of 100 rupees, so uh, the, the total amount is 100 rupees. So, 30% of the total amount, that is 30 rupees of an, out, out of the 100 rupees, can be redeemed using bitcoins. So, that will be automatically applied at the card, at the checkout section. And then you can go ahead and purchase it. 
Sir? Sir, because I had this uh, because when I was uh, buying one fingerprint one, uh, okay. the, there was like one thousand nine hundred and uh, I mean one thousand one hundred and ninety eight rupees. Okay. Uh, when I just uh, open, uh, I tried to buy it. It was just saying eight hundred and forty rupees to pay. Yeah, because thirty percent that is three hundred uh, rupees was deducted using your bitcoins. Okay, sir. Because I got some confusion in that, okay, uh, so okay. I just asked. hope it's clear now. Sir. Yes, sir. Awesome. I want to uh, alert you, mm -hmm. sir, that uh, many makers are uh, posting uh, very very bad videos in uh, in their and earning bitcoins and using yeah, them yeah. in their discount. So please uh, take an yeah, action. Yeah, yeah, sure. So Shreya, yeah, what, what we are doing is that we are reporting all the posts and we are deducting. The bitcoins that whatever they have earned, plus we are penalizing a small amount of bitcoins on them so that they don't repeat it again. And uh, like we are trying to re remove them as soon as possible. And even if you are uh, noticing anything, you can just click on the exclamation sign at the uh, right bottom bar and report the post. So it will come to the post review and moderation team. They will just remove it. Okay, okay, thank you. And we are also like actively keeping on removing all the posts and deducting their returns. Don't worry about that. So I, I would even request all of you guys, you know, so don't put such posts around. If you find anyone yeah. when, uh, posting such videos, you know, you have to make them aware that this is not uh, right to do. Right, guys? Yeah. So And uh, do share your projects also. Like I know the exams are going on and everyone is busy. The board Sorry, do share new uh, whatever new projects you are building up. Like there's holy time, so if you can make some kind of a pitch curry. So do share it in there. Sir. Yeah. Do you have any offline stores in Ahmedabad or any Gujarat? Not yet, Aru. <laughs> you can make make a uh, you know a cash on delivery order purchase or something of that sort. If you want, you know. Uh, the uh, you know, if you want to have a bit blocks at your doorstep and you want to pay cash at the same store, yeah, yeah, okay, sir. Yeah, sir, your people told that in Arduino there are 10 episodes, right? Mm -hmm. Sir, uh, can you just uh, show how to use a Wi Fi clip with the Arduino? That's a good suggestion, you yeah, work. great suggestion, yeah. So, because like uh, with Arduino, there is a refrigerator, like uh, it's cooling more and more and more. Then we can uh, decrease it uh, amount, like that also we can use, right? Yeah, you can do that, you can do that for sure. Like, yes. like right now you have things, so you uh, was able to control three LEDs, okay? So, there are many innovations, okay? So, you can make your own innovative project via your hardware or your code, okay? And it is better for, you know, the community. So, if you make a project... Share it in the, you know, the web blog social so that everyone can see it. Okay. So even we learn some things like from you guys. Okay. Or there, there are any of your friends who are stuck at some, uh, you know, place and you are able to help them. Do help them. Okay. So always go through the chat section of the videos as well. Okay. And if you think you have a solution uh, to this video, or you can make a similar uh, product and someone is finding it difficult to do. So you, you should help. Them. Right, guys? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. So that's it for today. Um, uh, we shall call it off for now. Yeah. So see you again later on. Yeah. Bye bye. See you, sir. Bye, sir. Also, this Thank is you, sir. yeah. Thank I you, posted sir. the coupon code in the chat section. So those who want to make a purchase can make a purchase today itself. Okay, guys. Yes, sir. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you, sir.